Hey, what's going on everybody? It's me again, Golden Blue Dude. And this is the channel that gives you a college football video every single day. Quick reminder about my score prediction contest. Every single week I pick out one game for my Patreon members to guess the score on. The person that gets the closest to the score wins $20 every single week. Congratulations to Paul Riggs. He wins my score prediction contest for week six. Blue members get one guest prediction per week. Gold members get two guest predictions per week. And champion members get four guest predictions per week. This week's score prediction game is number 11, Kentucky at number one, Georgia. In the top breaker is going to be number 12 Oklahoma State at number 25 Texas. So go join my Patreon page and send me your score prediction. I'm going to be honest with you. A lot more undefeated teams remain than what I would have guessed at this point in the season. And that's counting Alabama and Clemson not being undefeated. How crazy is that? The AAC has two undefeated teams. Number 3 Cincinnati and number 23 SMU. ACC still has one undefeated team, but it's number 16 Wake Forest. The Big 12 has two undefeated teams. Number 4 Oklahoma and number 12 Oklahoma State. The Big 10 has has a total of three undefeated teams. Two in the Big Ten East, number eight Michigan, and number ten Michigan State. Oh yeah, I forgot. Ohio State's not undefeated either. That's another one. In the Big Ten West, number two Iowa. Conference USA still has an undefeated team, UTSA. The Mountain West still has an undefeated team, number 24 San Diego State. Then there's the Pac-12. That they, they don't have any undefeated teams left. That one actually doesn't surprise me. And then the SEC has two undefeated teams left, but both of them are in the SEC East. Number one Georgia and number 11 Kentucky. And finally, the Sun Belt, they also have one undefeated team. And that's number 15, Coastal Carolina. That one really doesn't surprise me. I also have some exciting news for one of my live shows. I'm having an all-time great West Virginia player, Eugene Napoleon, on this show. I've had some great guests on my live show so far. I expect this one to be one of the best. I am super excited. He was an all-time great running back at West Virginia and part of the 1988 undefeated West Virginia team that went to the National Championship and played Notre Dame for the National Championship. So Wednesday, October 20th, 7 p.m., Eugene Napoleon is going to be on my live show. Special thanks to my good friend Joey Foster for lining up all these awesome guests for me. I couldn't do it without you, bud. So when will these undefeated teams pick up their first loss? Well, first, let's look at number one, Georgia. They're 6-0. Next game, they get number 11, Kentucky, at home. Then they get number 20, Florida, in the neutral site in Jacksonville, Florida. They get Missouri at home at Tennessee, Charleston Southern at home at Georgia Tech. I don't see Georgia getting beat in the regular season. And with Alabama losing to Texas A&M, I don't think Alabama Alabama is going to beat Georgia either. Number two, Iowa. They're also 6-0. Here's their remaining schedule. Purdue at Wisconsin. No, they're a terrible team. At Northwestern Minnesota, Illinois at Nebraska at the end of the season. Probably not. I think Iowa goes undefeated and gets to the Big Ten Championship undefeated. That's where they could pick up their loss. They'll either play Michigan, Ohio State, Michigan State, or have a rematch against Penn State. Then there's number three, Cincinnati. They're 5-0. Remaining schedule, UCF at Navy at Tulane, Tulsa at South Florida. They get number 20. 23 SMU at home and then at East Carolina. All those teams are inferior teams to Cincinnati. I think Cincinnati goes undefeated, wins the AAC, and will have a legitimate argument for getting into the playoffs. Moving on to number four, Oklahoma. They're also 6-0. Their remaining schedule, TCU at Kansas, Texas Tech at Baylor. That might be a good game, and I think Baylor will get ranked again. Iowa State and then at number 12, Oklahoma State. So if they survive Baylor, that last game of the season, at number 12, Oklahoma State. That's a loser game, depending on how the Cowboys look the rest of the season. And Oklahoma is starting to pick it up on offense, especially switching from Spencer Rattler to Caleb Williams. Then there's number 8, Michigan. They're 6-0, but they have a brutal schedule remaining. Northwestern at number 10, Michigan State. Indiana at number 7, Penn State. At Maryland, and then number 6, Ohio State. They could end up going either 10-2 or 9-3. But imagine that. 9-3 is worst case scenario for Michigan right now. That kind of blows my mind, to be honest with you. Then there's number 10, Michigan State. They're all also 6-0. They have a tricky remaining schedule as well. At Indiana, the number 8 Michigan, at Purdue, Maryland, at number 6 Ohio State, and then number 7 Penn State. Well, at least two of their ranked matchups are at home. So that's a little bit more doable than Michigan's schedule. Same situation as Michigan. Worst case scenario, 9-3. and three. That's a pretty good season. And then number 11, Kentucky. They're 6-0. This does not surprise me. I told y'all in the preseason that I thought Kentucky would finish second in the SEC East. Their next game is at number 1 Georgia. Sorry, Kentucky not winning that game. You will be 6-1 after this next game.
game. After that, at Mississippi State, then Tennessee at Vanderbilt, New Mexico State at Louisville. Honestly, I think Kentucky's going to go 11-1. and And they could still have a legitimate argument to get into the playoffs, even though they won't make the SEC championship. Then there's number 12, Oklahoma State. They're 5-0. and Remaining schedule at number 25, Texas, at Iowa State, Kansas, at West Virginia, TCU, at Texas Tech, and then number 4, Oklahoma. They have some tricky games in there. I think worst case scenario, Oklahoma State could still go 8-4, and but I'm thinking more like 9-3 and or 10-2. and That's a good season for the Cowboys. Then there's number 15, Coastal Carolina, 6-0. and No, they don't have any shot of getting to the playoffs, but could they pick up a loss before the end of the season? Here's their schedule. At Appalachian State, that could actually be a test. Troy at Georgia Southern, Georgia State, Texas State at South Alabama. Worst case scenario for Coastal Carolina, 11-1. and But I think they're going to go undefeated. Then there's the undefeated team in the ACC, number 16, Wake Forest, 6-0. and You want to talk about a crazy 2021 college football season? Just keep saying that out loud. Undefeated Wake Forest, 6-0. and Undefeated Wake Forest, 6-0. and Undefeated Wake Forest, 6-0. and Hey, was that like a Beetlejuice thing? Did somebody say that three times before the season started and it happened? Now that makes me wonder if they said Wake force undefeated the entire season three times in a row. Here's their remaining schedule. At Army, Duke, at North Carolina, number 22, NC State, at Clemson, at Boston College. So to be honest with you, Wake Forest, worst case scenario, could be 7-5. and five. That's a tricky rest of the schedule. I only see one surefire win. That's the home game against Duke. The rest of those games are absolutely losable for Wake Forest. So enjoy the ride, Demon Deacon fans, because you're going to rack up some losses here real soon. Then we jump back over to the AAC. Number 23, SMU. They're 6-0. and Their remaining schedule, Tulane, at Houston. Houston. That's a losable game. At Memphis, UCF, at number three, Cincinnati, and Tulsa. I think SMU could go 10 and 2. Worst case scenario, 8 and 4. That's not a bad season. But could they do the unthinkable and go undefeated? And that would include going on the road and beating number three, Cincinnati. I don't think so, but you never know. Remaining team that's undefeated in the Mountain West, number 24, San Diego State. They're 5 and 0 right now. Remaining schedule at San Jose State, at Air Force, Fresno State, at Hawaii, Nevada, at UNLV, and Boise State. I think we're Worst case scenario for San Diego State's 8 and 4, but I'm thinking 10 and 2. I have them losing on the road to Air Force and then Fresno State at home. I still think Fresno State's the better team. Finally, the only undefeated team remaining in Conference USA, and that's UTSA. They're 6 and 0. Oh. Here's their remaining schedule. They get Rice at Louisiana Tech, at UTEP, Southern Miss, UAB, and at North Texas. I think UTSA is going to go 11 and 1, but worst case scenario, maybe 9 and 3. It's still a good season and still a good possibility of going undefeated. I just think that road trip to UTEP is a tricky one and that's where they lose. Y'all let me know where you think each undefeated team loses their first game and what you think their final record is going to be for 2021. That's all I got for you for this show. Like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you on my next show.